Captain Chris Turnipseed, so we can go on and put him on, director of the Mississippi Department of Highway Patrol Public Affairs Division, uh, live from his um, souped-up vehicle. We'll not say where he is. Good morning, <laughs> sir. How, hey, how good morning, doing, Paul. Captain? How are you? Good, good, sir. Uh, good. How are you doing? He, this, this is a good story because it it's, it, it uh, kind of gives an idea and insight on what you guys go through every single day. Two women traveling in a good-looking SUV. They they are, you know, outstanding-looking women, like mothers picking up their kids at school or something. One is 31-year-old Martha Lopez. The other 30-year-old Tania Looney Solis. They were stopped because they were driving a little too fast by a highway patrolman. Speeding in an SUV, uh, Miss Lopez was driving. Uh, two juvenile passengers were also in the car. I mean, they could have said they're going to Target. Well, police officers, highway patrolmen are pretty cagey guys. Uh, they arrested the two women, and when they looked through the vehicle, the SUV, they found 500,000 fentanyl pills. 500,000 fentanyl pills in that vehicle. Uh, I, I, that's probably enough to kill planet Earth and Mars at the same time. But uh, it was just absolutely amazing. Officers discovered 500,000 pills concealed in collagen supplement bottles alongside a gun and a large amount of U.S. currency uh, in that vehicle. A good stop. All right, speaking of which, going to be a lot of people on the road. What's the, what's the plan from the Highway Patrol in Mississippi? Well, our plan is to, as usual, uh, per you know our holiday uh, travel periods, is to be out here in full force, everybody, all hands on deck, and uh, making sure that folks are getting to and from safely, slowing down, buckling up, uh, not driving impaired, all those, all those good things, Paul. Uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, what kind of traffic uh, we have this weekend. I, I heard you talking yeah. in a couple other segments there, to see what these fuel prices do with travel this weekend. But uh, from what I've seen so far, uh, you know, there, there's been there's been – quite a few uh vehicles on the highway so maybe people yeah. are going maybe they're just not going as far this this year but there are people out traveling uh moving around so we'll just have to see at the I, end I, of the, the period period uh you know what the numbers are i think you hit it on the head just a few seconds ago i think there's a lot of pinup uh, people wanting to get out with the family but they're probably not going to go as far uh, instead of taking a trip a couple of 300 miles Go somewhere within the state of Mississippi, which is a good idea, on the coast or uh, to the Delta, whatever it happens uh, to be. But again, i, I got to ask you this question, and I still haven't resolved the answer in my mind. There was another video, and it drives me crazy. I have the audio. We'll do it uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. But and, and a lot of these are on TikTok where people are challenging their constitutional rights when it comes to the Highway Patrol or police officer or anybody else. These happen to be two Mississippi Department of Highway Patrol or Highway Patrolmen in Mississippi who were stopping a guy saying that they were checking driver's license. And, of course, <clears throat> they talked him, they talked these two out of it. Um, and and I've, I've asked this question before. Is Mississippi law to the point, or does it, does it go counter to the Constitution? Can you ask for somebody's uh, driver's license? Or demand somebody's driver's license if there is no other crime, if they're not speeding or anything else, if there's just a roadblock check. Yes, you can. You, I mean, the law, there's no stipulation in our law. That, you know, you have a driver's license. You're on a, you're on a uh, tax-funded uh, uh, state highway. You come through a, a license check. It is a law that you must produce a driver's li license uh, upon demand of a law enforcement officer. So, yeah, the officer's we're in the right to, to ask for that driver's license. And, you know, if you don't do it, then you've you've broken the law and, and can be arrested for as such. So that's at some pretty, point... That's pretty, pretty, clear, they, it's pretty clear cut there on that one. Well, here's the problem. I didn't understand why the, the officers who stopped there, one male, one female, didn't understand that and, and quote the law as it is and give them the necessary amount of time and then arrest them, period, if that's the law. Well, I, I'm not sure. You know, like I said, I'm not. I'm not sure why why they did or why they did not do that. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it could have been some kind of. You know, when somebody pulls a camera out, a lot of times people are hesitant to, to do what they're supposed to do because they, you know, they're in the right, but they want to make sure they're in the right. And then you got a situation going on there that gets 
yeah. escalated in an argument or, or somewhat, and they're trying not to uh, the situation get out of get out of hand. But but those officers were perfectly within their rights to uh, yeah. do their job, and uh, you know whatever the consequences of them not uh, obeying those those that command from the officer, uh, those, those should have been uh, th those duties should have been performed. The aggravating part of this is when normally in the old days, when somebody failed to or puts up a fight to show and uh, identify who they are, they're trying to hide something. And now it's most of the time somebody's trying to make a uh, a little extra money in a lawsuit. But uh, it's the world we live in, Captain Chris. Well, Kearns, uh, when does this start yeah, and when does it end as far as the uh, uh, the extra highway patrolman on the road? Okay, well, let me let me go back just. A couple seconds there okay. to what you said before. <laughs> yeah. you, 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 you know, we're talking, people worried about lawsuits. A lot of it's people are not trying to get a lawsuit. A lot of it's, it's this social media craze where everybody's trying to get likes yes. and trying to yeah. get uh, Facebook and Instagram clout. Uh, and mm -hmm. they, they want to draw people to their, to their uh, social media account by posting viral videos. I, that's, that's, a lot of these people are trying to do that. Uh, yeah. Going back to the, going back to the uh, Memorial Day holiday period, that started at midnight uh, this morning, I guess midnight last night, and it will mm -hmm. it will go through Monday uh, at midnight, uh, the end of Memorial Day, uh, twelve a.m. on uh, on Monday, uh, Paul. So we've got yep. uh, today, tomorrow, Sunday, and then Monday, and uh, to you know get out here and try to make sure that we keep these uh, these crashes down, these fatal crashes, definitely from not happening. And, uh, you know, we'll do it now, but we're going to keep it going. Summer's yeah. a busy time. Are, are, and traffic's fixed to be on the uptick uh, for the rest of Kevin, the Kevin, are you guys are stopping uh, or arresting more people, at least stopping and, and giving them a warning, a warning as far as uh, texting while driving? Well, the texting and driving laws, I, you know, are in Mississippi are, are really kind of hard to uh, kind of enforce because you really have to – be able to know that somebody was what they were doing on their phone the burden of proof so how mm -hmm. to prove but the careless driving laws what we usually use when we see someone that we think's looking at a phone and you know that's not paying attention to, to traffic or line of traffic and kind of doing something erratic we can write them a careless driving uh, citation and uh, you know and have and take that to court and do a lot better job of being able to approve uh, the burden of proof on that uh, than the text and driving uh, I would like, you know, I would love for us to revisit our text and driving laws. Some of the states, ours right now, our text and driving law, I think it's, it, it's, it's a civil violation. It's not, it's not a, a criminal violation that would go into your criminal or justice courts. So it, it's, it's, it's there on the books, but it's just not feasible. Yeah. It's not easy for something to, for us to, to work with and enforce on a daily basis. Something that could be addressed in the next legislative session. For people who are on a phone and doing it legally, and certainly if you're a passenger, just want to remind you, number one, there is a, a number that you can call if you see something to the Highway Patrol. And is uh, I forgot what it was. It's, H, it's what is the, uh, star, what's the text? Star HP. The yeah, star, star HP. HP. That's it. Star or, HP. Or star, star, star 47 for those who, who don't like uh, letters. So star 47. I got it. Or star, star HP. And that'll get you in touch. Star HP. Yes, sir. That'll put you in touch. That'll put you in contact with a uh, a dispatcher if you need a report. Uh, you know, a crash, erratic driver, or you know, you're having car trouble, or you know, and you need some That's help. Any kind of assistance that you might need on the road, uh, that number there will work for you. And they'll get to you all across the state. Seat belts, front seat, back seat, right? Front seat, back seat. Uh, Everywhere. Uh, uh, there was any other, uh, or any other seats? Open we, container. We open too. containers. Open containers in the vehicle. Not a good idea, right? Not not a good idea. There's there's not a state <laughs> law against that, but there there are some ordinances in some of your cities about open container. But in some you, of the cities. You're riding up and down the road with an open container. You're you're probably going to get uh, stopped and get asked a lot of questions yeah. about uh, about your sobriety. Captain, always good to know that you guys are out there. I hope the new recruits are getting the first shifts out there, or maybe the night shifts. <laughs> that's, that's pulling a little extra duty. Thank well, they you, sir. will. Appreciate I mean, they're going to be out there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Paul. Y'all have a safe, happy you got uh, a, Memorial Captain weekend. Captain Chris uh, Turnipseed. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Director, Mississippi Highway Patrol, Public